In today's tutorial, we're gonna to learn to make these macrame earrings. For today's tutorial, I'm using four millimeter macrame cord. It's three ply twisted. Earring findings, these ones are five centimeters tall and two and a quarter centimeters wide. Two earring hooks, a cutting mat, a rotary cutter, a comb, scissors, round tip pliers, and some fabric stiffener spray. All the materials are listed in the description below. So cut a piece of your macrame cord 35 centimeters long. And now we're just gonna separate the three strands. So just unwind it and pull apart. And then separate the other two as well. So in total, you need seven strands that are 35 centimeters long. I like to do my earring on an elevated surface so they can hang down when I'm doing the knots. So I'm just using this little shelf that I have. I'm gonna attach my earring to the shelf with a piece of tape. I find electrical tape is really good for this because it doesn't leave a residue on your surface when you remove it. So now take one of your 35 centimeter lengths, have it folded in half equally, and attach it to your earring with the lark's head knot. So around the back, over the top, you're gonna have an opening, put it through that opening and pull it through. This is gonna be at the tip of the diamond. Now we'll add three more 35 centimeter lengths with the lark's head knot to the left side and to the right side. So now all seven cords are attached. So now we'll do double clove hitch knots down the left hand side with the seven strands. And then there's gonna be seven strands on the other side to do double clove hitch knots from the right to the left. See the link in the description below for a tutorial on the double clove hitch. Now we'll do the same thing going from the right to the left. Now when you're at the bottom, I'm going to use the right cord as the filler cord and the left cord as the working cord. So I'll do a double clove hitch joining the two together. Now I'm going to do double clove hitches from the left to the right, another row. And then double clove hitches again from the right to the left. Now I've removed the earring from the shelf and I'm going to comb out the fringe. Now I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm just going to cut the edges. You could also do this with scissors. I just find a rotary cutter is much easier. I've put down a piece of paper to protect my surface while I use this fabric spray. So this is going to just help stiffen up the fringe. Now I'm just going to comb the fringe out a little bit and shape it how I would like it. And now I'll just wait for that to dry. So now that that's dry, I'm gonna transfer it to a cutting mat. It's gonna give it a little comb. I'll use my rotary cutter and trim the edges. Now I take my earring hook. I'm gonna take the tip of my round pliers and I'm just going to pry that open. Now I face the hook backwards like it's going into your ear and now I hook it into the top of the earring and then I just close it up. And then make another one to match. 